dragon is about to come down and shoot me. An American dragon? Yeah. Beast. He's here. He's here. Oh my god. Roll? Raw. Should we roll? We should raw. Hell yeah. Rawing it up. What the hell's going on here? Uh, video game. Silly game. Oh, Silly game. It's not even a video game. It's just raw. No. I'm going around slapping people and going, uh, I gotcha. Yeah, I was about to say he should. He brought back a uh, pick a hand or whatever the hell it is. That's an RVD bit, isn't it? Sure, sure. Do you know that bit? No. Y you pick a hand. If you pick the wrong hand, he slaps you. Uh, but if both hands are wrong. Oh. Did you know that? That's clearly the purpose of that bit. Well, you know what? You learned something. I thought new it was. Every an, day. I thought it was an earnest fun game because wrestlers are fucked up people. True. True that. Uh, all right. I booked where we were, but I forget where we were. We're so. in New York City. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, we can go to Christ. different parts of New York if you want. Like, like Buffalo and Albany and Rochester and Syracuse and Yonkers. Which one you want to go to? I'm okay as long as it's not New Jersey. Well, that's fair. Yeah. What's the video on that? On how shit New Jersey is? On why people hate New Jersey. Oh, okay. Okay. Would you like because, to enlighten me? Well, because New York is the more prevalent city and thus gets a lot more representation of media. And New Yorkers do hate New Jersey. But that's why everybody hates New Jersey. Gotcha. Media is from, which is why it's a meme. Have you turned everybody on your hates. your your mic sensitivity again? Because your your lows are getting low. Oh, my bad. No, I just talk quiet sometimes. That I'm a, mm, I'm a quiet man. I see. Is that why your lows are getting lost? Because you're somehow, you know, talking so quietly that you're you're somehow causing your lowest moments to be silent. I could, uh, hold on here. Oh, yeah, I do see that. Oh. This is so funny to me. <laughs> like, What's up with that? I don't know. It's like I say to you, hey, we're like, losing your lows, and you're like, I'm just talking quiet. <laughs> no, no, I see it. I see it now. It's that's weird. Oh, yeah, okay. It, like, picks up the back end of that, but not the front end at all. That's really fucking... Mm -hmm. Let me do this. Now you can hear everything. Good. That's what I want. I will never stop talking. Okay. I'll be green forever. You're still quiet. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, I'm just quiet then. Okay. Um, let me turn myself up. Only sometimes. It's weird. It does sound like some program's got a hold of your mic and is like adjusting your volume dynamically. Because you're like it's it's you're getting louder and quieter mid sentence. Can I beseech you, my dude, to please sit there with the listen to mic thing on for about an hour, sometime between now and the next stream, and try and fix yeah. this shit. Yeah. I. Yeah, I will definitely do that. Um. Okay, now you're you're naturally too loud, but you're still doing the modulate bullshit. Uh, that's the okay, problem. interesting. Um, I could. I could check this really quick. Hold on. Sure. Did you guys know the Sunday podcast is available as a YouTube music podcast? Check it out. It features your favorite stars, like Tucker. Hurrah. Uh, yeah. 
All right, Tucker, if you... Is that better? Sounds better. Yeah, okay. I played with the gain. Okay. Don't have your gain on, like, <laughs> low, folks, apparently. Put it on, like, almost low, but not quite. Oh, yeah. Don't put it on low, that's for sure. All right. Raw? Good to know. Or are we still not trying to decide where we're going to be? Here. Uh, I'll, I'll roll yeah. a fucking dice. I told you to pick a place. All right, you can pick a place. Okay. Uh, give me... Oh, Yonkers. Geez, I don't know. My dice says Yonkers. We're going to Yonkers. <laughs> I was going to say Yonkers because it's kind of funny. Kind of funny to say. No? Don't agree? No. Wow. I think you're, the route you're going down is problematic there. Damn. Yeah. It's a goofy name, that's all. Why is it goofy, Tucker? You gotta tell people you live in Yonkers. What do they call themselves? Yonkarians? Maybe. What's wrong with Yonkarians? Sounds... Goofy. We're gonna kick things off with the game Triple H. Who else? It's been a while since he's kicked off for all. That's true, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, Ric Flair, I'll take you on a WrestleMania. Let's go. And Ric Flair will say that he accepts. Let's go! Fuck it, we're just doing this match of Mania. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> but out comes Shawn Michaels on a crutch. And he looks at the pair of them. And he looks at his hands. And he looks at the WrestleMania sign. <laughs> and then he super kicks Triple H in the face. <laughs> Oh my god. He picks up the mic and he says, Rick, if you want the Heartbreak Kid at WrestleMania, if you want Mr. WrestleMania, the showstopper, you got it. But you brought this upon yourself, Rick. You made this happen. You gave me no choice. He looks down at Triple H's lifeless corpse. <laughs> gave me no <laughs> choice. Triple H has gigged at some point during the <laughs> just pool of blood. He's like, oh, there, I knew, I know there was no one else that could face you at WrestleMania. He looks down at Triple H again, and there's no one else I can face at WrestleMania. We were destined to do this, Rick, but you gotta be careful what you ask for. You have to hear the story of old Yeller Rick. <laughs> <laughs> he does the old Geller promo. <laughs> and then Amazing. Rick's like, Old oh, Geller! <laughs> he takes off his shirt and he looks at Sean in the eyes. Yeah, just we, let's do the whole build here in this angle. Got anything else for it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> or anything you'd like to cut? <laughs> Would you like to redo no. this angle? <laughs> no, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> um. I mean, you got everything we want, right? <laughs> like, he... Yeah. That's good to me. Alright. Um... <laughs> 10... 15? Yep. Cool. Uh, we have... Don't we have... Pre-bookings? Ah, yeah. yes. World Tag Belt. The World Tag Belt versus Grammy. Of course. Real. Um, Jonathan Coachman comes out after the commercial break and says, oh boy, that was sure was controversial. You know what my mentor always used to tell me? Controversy creates cash. So right here, right now, we're going to have a tag team turmoil match to determine the number one contenders to the World Tag Team Championships. Nice. That's, yeah. Yeah. 
Good gimmick. Yep. That, okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's what he says. That's what he says. Let's go. Three minutes. Is this, is this tag team turmoil right now? Or that we've done? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, sounds right. It's, this is at least three because I remember the world's greatest tag team say, one like and the and the evolution one. I think Sean and I think Sean and Tina had one. I think SmackDown got one at one point. So that's why oh, I think shit. it's four. Okay. Did we have a match for this? I thought we did. We have a don't we have like an end of tag team turmoil match? Conclusion to tag team turmoil? Oh, is it just this? I think it might just just be a series of two v twos. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Maybe is, do we have a two v two gauntlet match? No, I don't think so. I think we have a one v one gauntlet match. <laughs> we do. Oh, we have oh, timed entrances. So maybe we could do four team timed entrances. We can. Okay, let's do it. I think I don't think we have more than four teams. I'm thinking Hardys. Um, that's it. That's all I got. Actually, fuck. Uh, no, we got. All right, that's it. We got Ziggler and Dykstra. <laughs> obviously, we got the Cowboys. Yep. And then I guess we got Eminem. So. There you go. Oh, I guess we could put Rhodes and DiBiase in instead of the Cowboys. I guess that's your call. Sure. I like getting the kids stuff to do. <laughs> cool. Tucker likes kids doing stuff. What? What? That's too general. You couldn't even make it anything bad. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. I'm saying you're a good guy. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Providing activities for the children. Yeah. Like humanitarian folks. That's it. Alright, how, how how long is this? Hey Tucker, are you gonna watch AEW this weekend? In your home country? It's not my home country. Oh yeah, it's in Chicago, isn't it? Is it in Chicago? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well that's why they're not suspending him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was in Canada for some reason. <laughs> yeah, they can't suspend him uh if it was in Canada because Brett would be pissed, and that's uh you can't run a show with like Bret Hart's bad will against even Canada. Just, mm. just ruins everything. Are they even gonna get back in time? I don't know. Apparently, some shit fucked up, right? And they're like, they were still there yesterday, like in the morning or something. Anybody who's still here now is like not gonna get back till like next Monday, because apparently whatever's happening isn't getting get fixed until next week. Yeah, I don't know. I just remember somebody had tweeted. I saw one tweet from somebody who worked at the company that was like, "We we got out. We did it. Okay, okay. We escaped Britain." So <laughs> I think I think most people got out. I don't know. Like got out, got got escape Britain, dude. Before <laughs> maybe maybe Punk is stuck. <laughs> maybe that's what's happening. <laughs> did you see? Have you seen all the tweets of him it's on the so underground? <laughs> yeah. I I love that bit so much. He he flies in. Nobody's there to <laughs> greet him. He doesn't know where he's going. He doesn't know what hotel he's at. So he just, like, gets on a train and just starts talking to people, trying to figure out where Webley is. Well, he must have gotten on multiple trains, right? Because there's a picture of him on... I don't know what Oh, line. yeah, yeah. I don't know what line it is, is, but it's, it's not... Somebody... It's not the Heathrow Express. Somebody said, like, he was just looking for his hotel. Like, and he got lost for, like, a while. <laughs> He, like, he had to ask, like, multiple people where he was trying to go. Which is also wild, because, like, bro, just open up your phone and press, you know, go Google Maps. Like, Yeah, I, I, I also like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I also like the idea that, like, I don't know, like, the AW people weren't there to, like, yeah, get is, him, so he didn't, like, he didn't bother to, like, call or be like, Tony, where am I supposed to be going? No, like, I, I need like, help. Well, I no, like he's like, idea. I will figure it out. I, like I will figure it out. There was just nobody there to greet him, and he did call, and they all didn't answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, he got there, and nobody was there, and he, he took it on as, like, a spite thing. Like, he has to find his way there on his own. I think it is a spite thing. I think It they, probably yeah, is. He probably could have just called for help, but I'm going to make a point of this by, like, roaming around. No, no, I mean, it's, like, they clearly did, surely that's intentional, right? Your top star on your B brand gets to a, a foreign country, and there's nobody there. Like, oh, that's yeah. intentional. 
Like you're oh, sending yeah, yeah, a yeah. message to that guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just like uh I hear by the way, you you weren't high on that Joe God. match. I hear from my circles that they liked that Joe match, so just gonna put that Every, there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I thought it was fine. Did I say I wasn't high on it? I thought it was fine. You're you always whenever you review any matches, you give the impression that you hate them. So yeah. Hmm, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> And I said specifically Hangman Page, I think. Yeah. This works. It works for me, apparently. He's the guy. I, and like, I, I'm still like, I don't care of it, but I guess so, yeah. He's the goat. Uh, how long are these supposed to go? Am I going to have to investigate the tag team turmoil history? Probably, yeah. Uh, I remember like some short-ass matches, so I can't imagine it's longer than like... 20. The tag team turmoil is an alternative version of an elimination tag team match. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's what it is. Wait, they did tag team turmoils later? Huh? They did one at WrestleMania 37? That's crazy. 37? Oh my yeah. god. That's crazy. That's recent, isn't it? That's like fair years ago. Recent, yeah. Uh. Like 20 minutes with six teams or seven teams. So, like. So. 11. I, I, oh, okay. That's why we split the difference and go 12. Yeah, it works. Hell yeah. I didn't even get that was supposed to be the hardest. Yeah, it was, pretty, it, was, it was pretty bad. I, I was like, damn. I was like, I don't even know what that was. It's pretty bad, though. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Um, I feel like we should get angry Triple H. I don't, I don't know. I feel, I feel like we should. <laughs> Maybe he just goes to Maria and he's like, I just, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of him. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of this whole fucking show. All right. I am a world champion level wrestler. I am a, I, I deserve better than this shit. <laughs> better than this shit. Better than him. I was doing Ric Flair a favor. Fuck him. Fuck Sean. Fuck. All this shit. Ow. My chin hurts. <laughs> Leaves. <laughs> Perfect. Um. What do we want to do with Cena and Henry? That's a good question. Oh yeah, we were doing pick. We we're, we're considering doing pick your poison, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I could be top of the hour stuff. Yeah. Unless that main event. No, this I, is top of the hour. I think I want a main event with the tags. I mean, Raider Okeo can do it actually. Like. Yeah. I think I want a good. main event with the tags and have um. What do you call it? Oh, nice one. What's up? No, I, just, I gotta put myself on do not disturb. Oh, that's oh, all. I think I, I, I'm watching on the. On the big screen. <laughs> um, I, I guess that's a good point. You don't know this. I, usually I'll watch... I'll watch via the stream preview, which doesn't show Discord. Um, oh, yeah. So if Henry's Pick Your Poison match main, uh, no, is tonight, and we main event with the tags, then Cena's can main event next week. <laughs> essentially. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I think maybe Mark. How about this? Mark puts Cena in a match with a big guy, the Big Show. The Big Show, yeah. Uh, and Cena puts Henry in a match with somebody who can pick him apart, Renee. I like that. Okay. All right, so that's that covered then. Should we have Eminem return backstage? And defeated. And then Melina be like, okay, that's fine, because you guys need to focus on my match at WrestleMania. Yep, I like that. 
the crowd chants obscenities at Molino when she appears on screen, I'm sure. But why? Why, Tucker? Yeah, why? What's going on? Oh, I have an idea as well. We're gonna we're gonna augment an earlier angle. Um give Melina an entertainment crew. Don't rate the boys, they're not talking, they're goons. Oh. <laughs> Very, that's a very long, long yeah, that's a really Fuck long God, title. I, as it kept going, I was like, Jesus, there's no way I can put this any better. Um, Four. How long is that? Four. All right. The Ripper. triple. Yeah. The Triple H angle. After he finishes his rant. Same, part of the same angle. Need, needed edited. Trish Stratus is going to show up and agree. It's happening. It's happening. And agree. Yeah, the, Hunter, you are. You're not given the respect you deserve. They're really like, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm not. That's it. Just a little thing. A little seed. It can stay six. All right. It was already too long at six. We were, we were stretching it out. <laughs> <laughs> so this You don't work. think Tribulation will talk for six? He'll talk for fucking 25. Not when he's mad. He talks for 25 when he's composed. When he's That's true. Brawl. <laughs> when he's got no he's emotion cerebral. in that voice. <laughs> he's cerebral, that's what's happening. <laughs> and he's an assassin. He's going to that place. <laughs> oh my god, it's vintage Triple H. Um, Alright, oh man, it sucks because I don't think we can do these three matches at the length that I'd like to do them. Let's see, let's see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, we could, yeah, we could do that. We could do that. Okay. Um, all going up. Mark yep. Henry. And then Mark versus, I mean, I guess we should do an angle. Sure. Yeah, I guess we should do an angle. Um, and we've already had coach out here. Rarely seen assistant general manager Jillian Hall. Oh my god. <laughs> what made you decide to pick Mark Henry to face John Cena at Mania? Tucker, thoughts? What made us pick him? He's really good. Yeah, sure. Yeah, he deserves that spot. Yeah. He's had a hell of a year. Uh, yeah, she's gonna have to pick your poison, and then Cena can. I guess yeah. Don't don't raid her. Get Cena out there. <laughs> we didn't even. We brought her out for some reason. Well, she's gonna talk, but we're just, like the segment's rated. Us. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, and he's like, Mark, I'm gonna put you through hell here. It's gonna be Renee Sebastian Dupree. No. Yeah, so, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah. Off screen okay. on those two, though. And then six minutes. Uh, Cena announces Henry's opponent. <laughs> You're so enthusiastic. <laughs> yeah, 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 clearly. Two weeks out from media. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Uh, Henry versus Renata. Uh, four, four, what did I have this down? I think I had this down as 15. Yep. Uh, and Henry's gonna win clean. Slow build? Yeah, slow build this one. Yep. And have it continue the Cena Henry story. Do you want Cena to drop the line in that promo, or we still wait? Oh yeah, that's it. Uh, I don't know. It's more so about him fighting Mark, unfortunately. 
but okay, okay, okay. it's it's not even god it's not even that much you've we've now, we've so now hyped it up yeah this is yeah. this is the crux it's not of even, the like, story worth it. It. he's just gonna say like mark henry's a big challenge but like tonight i have to do grown man shit grown man shit sometimes is you know fighting a big motherfucker who might kill you nice and tonight mark henry has to do grown man shit find a crazy motherfucker who might snap you there you go yeah we did it nice um <laughs> we've done the women Oh, yes, I know what I have to do, but we need a bridge angle. And that bridge angle is uh, Mascara, uh, Manzana Darada. He's going to uh, do something goofy. I don't know if he's going to sell Apple merch or he's going to be like backstage, just annoying people. I don't know. What do you think? I want him to do things. Something, something just like absurd. Like what? It doesn't have to be absurd. The... It can be though, if that's the direction you. I just want him to be on the show. But the idea that like Manzana Dorada is crazy, or at least a little bit unhinged. Okay. He's not all there. He's got a mush for brains, if you know what I mean. Let's have let's have the cow uh the cowboys. Sure. Uh... They're available. Maybe. This could be like a Johnny Ace angle, though, actually. So oh, Okay, okay, sure. Or wait, no, no, wait, we brought out Soup Dog. So, so Johnny Ace is kind of redundant now. <laughs> they found the Grammy. They did find the Grammy <laughs> that's being competed for tonight. <laughs> Nobody told Johnny Ace. <laughs> it's like... Um... Hmm... I wonder if Vince should be, like, talking to... I don't know. Who is Vince? Oh, God damn it! All right. <laughs> Mr. McMahon. Mr. McMahon is talking to, I guess, R-Truth. It could really be anybody, but R-Truth. Um, what if he's on the phone to, with Snoop Dogg? And he's like, I'm getting that Grammy back tonight, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yep. Say Sorry. It, say I, if you hate it. I mean, it's fine if you hate it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I know that's good. He calls. He calls Snoop Dogg just to harass him. It's like you show up on my show. Wow. Ah, no, I and like I'm, the idea that Mr. McMahon has in his office like a fucking video call machine, <laughs> <laughs> and he's got Snoop up on the screen, and then he's like, "Oh, hold on, Snoop. I got someone in my office." And he clicks a button, and he like Snoop just disappears. <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't have this in an office, but that's fine. <laughs> well, it's here now. You can make it work. You can make it work. We're in an office now. What did you want, Manzana Dorada? <laughs> I, I was actually just going to have... Dude, I was actually going to do this whole angle where it's just Vince telling truth. Like, oh, I got to be there at ringside to make sure that, you know, Crime Time loses. And there's just like a veil of like apples in the corner. And Manzana Dorada just like stands up out of the apples and just like leaves. <laughs> okay, I like that. I like it. Let, let, He's let's, just let's, like crouched down, and then he like rises out of them. Let's do that. Let's get our truth out of the angle because he's talking to Snoop, right? Yeah, sure. And then works. do it. Do exactly what he said. He's talking to Snoop, and he says, "I'm gonna get the Grammy back." Ah, ha, 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 ha. And then yeah, Manzana just stands up and freaking leaves. <laughs> it's just like from a bale of apples. It's just like stops. He's like. What the fuck? Get Snoop back on the phone. Like Snoop, uh, that stuff you gave me last week. <laughs> um. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Work, that works for me, bro. <laughs> McMahon will be at ringside. There. Six. Six. <laughs> We shoot it like really dramatically. Like when he pops out, we, we like <laughs> we can go for, we can go for. Um, have it continue the uh, the storyline. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I saw Dave Hebner up there as the road agent, and I thought it said Dave Meltzer. Let's get Mister McMahon working this one, yeah. And then out comes Chris Jericho. 
the Ayatollah of Rock and Roller. And he's going to say, it's time to put these new breed upstarts down once and for all. And to do that, he's going to offer Elijah Burke a featured match at WrestleMania against Chris Jericho. And Burke's going to come out and say, Chris, I, I don't care about a featured match against Chris Jericho. Like we said Real. a couple weeks ago, we're not here to take part. We're here to take over. So you want to put something up that I really want, Chris? It's not a match with you at WrestleMania. It's getting rid of the old guard, starting with you. So I'll take your match at WrestleMania, and if you want to get rid of me so bad, I'll even help you do it. Chris Jericho, Elijah Burke, loser leaves town. That, awesome. The, the Jericho accepts, but says that in order to make that fair, the rest of his goons had, can, you have to be at least tired. So they're going to fight on heat. Yeah. Against Rene Dupree, Triple H, and Rob Van Dam. Hell yeah. Yeah. Is there enough room? There is. Let's do it. I'm doing it. It was, who is it? It was Rob Van Dam, Triple H, Triple H. and RSD. It's the it's the three letter gang. Yes. Cool. Six. Yep. yep. Uh, these guys should be here. <laughs> They're out there to come out. The, yeah, the new breed can can be on screen. Like they can they can stand behind Elijah. What's the storyline looking like for the new breed right now? Do they just not have one? We don't have one. Yeah. That's fine. Is there any way we can justify putting a storyline on this? We could make one. I don't really want to. We don't have enough time to heat it up. Surely one of these can fit. It's kind of related to Edge and Orton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> no. Um, it It's kind of related to... I don't know. <laughs> I, I, help me here, Tucker. I need help. It's not. So. What's my way or the highway? <laughs> of course. I mean, this one actually. Fuck it. Turn this into the new breed storyline. Yeah. And pray that it gets heated enough by media. Pray that Burke you, is ready. Burke and you want out of this? And everyone, <laughs> and then it's Burke and Jericho. Come on, Burke. I believe in you. Uh, main event? Uh, I had this, I think, as 10. Yep. Not George Hackenschmitten. The Hackenschmitten. The Schmitten Eater. Uh, what I want to do at ringside there. I guess put our truth at ringside too, right? Should I put it on comms? Uh, no, I don't no, think so. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Randy Orton to pin JTG. Sorry, I thought I heard something. I was like, what the fuck? Dude, I keep hearing things. What the fuck is going on? Is it my deck of cards? No, no, no. It's like... I don't know. I'm just freaking out. How high are you? I'm not. <laughs> That's the scary thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um. Okay. Yeah, you said Edge? No, I said... <laughs> Pins... No? Okay. I said Orton Pitts JTG, but I'm not like that committed to it. <laughs> yeah, I accept that. All right, cool. Um, I don't know. I I feel so. This match is better if we don't overbook it, probably, or car crash it. But I also right. kind of feel like it's a car crash match and a fun overbook match. But it doesn't have to be because like there's <coughs> we could sell it that like Vince is out there to screw Crime Time over, but he doesn't need to be because 
It's rated RKO. But then again, I, we could also sell it that a Crime Time could have won this match. Because that would be fun. The baby faces are like on the verge of winning. And then there's, there's a little cheat interference at the end. That sucks because that is good. But something to me jumped more at like... We speculate the entire time, like the comments speculate the entire time, how Vince is going to get involved, how he's going to screw them over. He obviously has a plan, and he just doesn't, and Brader Care just wins. Well, I, actually, like, oh. I, think, I think I'm starting to convince myself more of Crime Time get really close to winning, because yeah. we can play off that it's it's Orton and Edge are fucking, you know, uh, what's the word, disintegrating right now. Like they're, right. they're they're barely a tag they're not a tag team in this match. They're two yeah, yeah. independently operating singles wrestlers. <laughs> like so it doesn't have to be a cheat to win kind of moment though. I, I don't know, maybe it could be something as easy as Edge and Orton get DQ'd and Vince just overturns it because Grammys can't change hands on the result of disqualification. So, you know, they have to <laughs> they have to beat them by pitfall. <laughs> You want to do a restart? I don't. I'm spitballing here. I also. I, I, okay. I'm just for you didn't pop for the Grammys cannot change hands by disqualification meme. All right, I, that was a good one. I des Damn. I deserve appreciation. <laughs> Damn. YouTube comments back me up. <laughs> I kind of like it better if if yeah if if they just come up close and then. I don't know, Vince can stick his hand in somebody's foot. Vince can ask off. Vince can ask our truth to distract the ref while he hits JTG with the ECW <laughs> championship. Our truth starts <laughs> rapping at the ref. No, let's face starts it. really hurting the ref's feelings. He's like, oh, oh. Or maybe he goes the other All way. Right. He just he, he's hyping up the ref. Or F buys in. He's like, oh shit, hell yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll do we'll do this. Do you like hitting him with the ECW title? That's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to get him a do-rag somehow. Ah, <laughs> uh, you that, know what it'll be well, next that's week. After he shaves his hair bald uh, for Mania. That's the Ah, uh, yeah, 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 good yeah. But tonight, Mr. McMahon performed his first real hit. <laughs> oh, he called it, too. He called it. We could run the show. Yeah, you want to just keep it like that? I think so, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, let's do it. Run it. Uh, that's got a story on it. We're good. Does it? Uh, oh yeah, it's the, it's the Edge and Orton match uh, story, right? And I think it'll also proc the Vince and R-Truth one. So. Oh, that's. Either one. Fine. That's hotter. That's hotter. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering whether we want this to actually proc these stories, or if we want to try and finagle it so it just gets continued via note. Oh, I see. You're very worried, then. Okay. What do you mean I'm very... I'm not that worried. I just... They're 80... Oh. I'm not expecting this to do 86 plus, no. I think you're... <laughs> probably... Maybe right. I mean, it could. But I'm not expecting it. Yeah, fuck it. I mean, I guess... Send it. Is there anything... I guess there's not really a negative to them being 80-ish by, by Mania. Like... I guess the tag match is one so. that we want to bang, but whatever. And, and like, any of these you can hype up pretty quickly with, like, one angle. Yeah, I've done some tests, and it takes more than one angle to get, you know, to get a big boost of pop on these, these storylines, especially with how long they've been going. Hmm. It's fine. Maybe, maybe the match does bang. Who knows? All right, let's do it. Let's, let's find out. Jesus, take the wheel. Oh, is is there a Melina Stacy storyline? Yeah. Can we put Stacy off screen in the Melina angle? Cool. Does Tag Team Turmoil yeah. have a storyline? No. 
How how hot is it that? It does. No, it doesn't. It's not super hot. Uh, let's put the radar KO one on that. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Let's do it. Monday night. Raw intro. Do, 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 do. All the stars. All yeller. You want to call me all yellow? I'll show you all yellow at WrestleMania, Sean. Woo! What you gonna do when the nature boy runs wild on you? Fantastic. Yeah. Tag Team Turmoil. Let's do it. 16,000 here in Yonkers, by the way. Hell yeah. Big show. No, Big Show's not, not, not here. Oh. 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 <laughs> Got him. Perfect. Uh, no, good uh, sir. We can't book this in until after the main event. Oh, you're right. You're right. We don't know who will win. <laughs> Clearly. Oh, wait. Actually, I've got an idea as well. Go back to booking screen. Ooh. <gasps> well, I guess we can go fix that now as well. Yeah. I'll do that anyways. Uh, there we go. Just tweak it. Um... After the main, we can do uh, Mr. McMahon, Raid RKO, and R Truth. Yeah, they, they they just give him the Grammy. <laughs> ah, dude, they do like a Steve Austin like beer celebration, but with like I don't know Ch champagne. I don't know. That came to my mind too, but I was like, nah. But if you said it, I mean, champagne can be arranged. Yeah. The boys. And maybe uh, to sell that this tag team is... Do we have Orton just fucking hit? Like, they've all got champagne in their hands and Orton just hits the RKO on one of them. Maybe it doesn't have to be Edge. Maybe Orton hits it on, like, Mr. McMahon. Like, fuck you. You can use the gravity, <laughs> but I'm still absolutely unhinged. I like that, yeah. I like that. I like that. Okay. Big heel celebration. Orton RKO's for man. And it'll be fine because next week Vince will just say some line about like, no, no, I like that. I like that. That was good. That, that's a, that's that's what you need. Grabbing you the brass it. ring. Exactly. Because Vince is, uh, that's my favorite part. Like you can just randomly have Vince decide, no, no, I like that. That's, that's good. That's actually good. <laughs> like, okay. Um, Orton, I'm fighting. Sure. Because I don't think we have to script the rest of these guys. Cool. And that could be Vince as well. Perfect. There you go. And that, if the if the if the storylines have gone down a little, that'll hopefully help bring him back up as well. Triple H given out does fantastic. <laughs> and there's some seeds Fuck planted. It. Why is Trish there? You guys remember those dirt sheet rumors from two years ago? Wait a second. No. Wait a second. Belina tells Seven M she'll need them for their main, with the 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 wrestle mania. I thought yep. this would do better. Melina, you need to you need to step it up. All grown up. Hell yeah. Do, Jan do, Cena. Do, do. It's Renee. This match. I'm I'm hoping this this is this is lacking like a really true mega worker, but it's two guys I like a lot. Nice. Holy shit. <laughs> In a superb match. World's strongest slam. I like how he counters some sort of submission move into it as well. Like a, oh, yeah, a yeah. dragon sleeper, maybe? <laughs> Picks him oh, up. Damn. Fucking slams he pulls him, him over. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how did this yeah. continue the storyline? Did you leave our truth in here? No, I automatically it, it oh, apparently yeah. had a okay, note cool, up. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. Uh, for some reason, I thought it wasn't wasn't the automatic, so I was I was worried, but that's cool. Fantastic. I don't think he just stands up. <laughs> Apple. Oh, Manzana Dorada, I didn't see you there. Let's okay, go. all right, Elisha. Yeah, this. Yeah, that's okay. That'll do. That will do. Okay, so we got. We got a lot of shit to book, right? That's there true. was this. This is at Mania. Yes. Can I make this loser leaf sound? Is that a? No. Okay. 
I don't mind. Sucks. I don't mind not making this match type. You can if you want, but this isn't what I'm gonna. No, for. I, I no, I wouldn't either. I was just checking if they had it because it would be like a, it would be just a normal one on one, but it would have like way more name value probably or something. But Again, we it wouldn't take long to make it. I know it's All fine though. Right. No. I don't. I don't. I don't mind. All right. This is a very. I like this match. It feels. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's just something to it that just feels us. This is what Chris Jericho would be doing. Yes, 100. <laughs> percent And there's a three v three on heat. You said right. Yeah, let's it's... make an elimination three v three. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna make sure I've got those names right. The card. What? <gasps> Really? <laughs> Doesn't know elimination, total elimination. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Because that makes sense. Because a regular well, everybody this, has to. Yes. Yeah. Rather than you get eliminated for your team, everybody on the team needs to be eliminated. Yeah. Don't like, Ziggler. Yeah. Like a three v three v three elimination would be if one guy from the team gets pinned, then the entire team is out. Uh, yeah, it is Rob Van Dam, Rene, Rene Dupree, and Triple H. Yeah, which is the right guys. Yeah, cool. Damn. Yeah. I mean, Shad Gaspard got a 38. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> True. <laughs> this is still, like, this is still okay for what it is. Yeah, yeah, and we close on a high note. <laughs> Edge was a real star. He gets over real good selling his... What the fuck, man? Like, <laughs> we got champagne. We were in the big leagues. You fucked it up for us. Again. Hell yeah. It's Mike Posey. It looks very intense. Yeah. It's true. I don't know if that's the word. He's got that thousand year yard stare. Yeah, yeah, he's seen some shit. It's Ireland. Oh, nice. It's Irish Day. <laughs> Fair. Okay, Triple H. <laughs> nice. Yep, we are. We're working on it, Dean. We're working on it, Dave. Hell yeah! What do we? What's our dev up to? Oh man! Wow! That yep. Those are all. Those are all the matches. The main event did really well. Did better than the raw main event. Yeah, last storm is crazy. Yeah. Like, what the fuck, man? Famed member of DMLS. He's only thirty-seven. Holy shit. Oh, dude, he's getting better, too. He's the god. Fucking, yeah. Maybe we need to bring him back. Pitch that. You said no. I didn't realize he was only 37. Yeah, he's not that old. By the way, can I blow your mind? Click on the, the description of that news article there. This one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, I... I learned about that like the other month or something like that, and I was like, "Wow, I didn't even know about that." But I still am just built for this. <laughs> it's just what my brain goes to still. Okay. Smackdown. Sure. Let's do it. Oh boy. Oh jeez. He's yep. coming. To pay for your meal. <laughs> Where are we? We are still in New York. Okay. I guess we could go to New Jersey instead. Oh God! Yeah. All right. <clears throat> um. New York. I don't care. We're in New Jersey. It's gonna. <laughs> it's gonna be awful either way. All right. We're here in New Jersey. We're kicking things off with match four of the five, five of the best of seven. Yep. <clears throat> What's the score at the moment? Uh, two, two. Shit. 
All right, all right. Um, let's go seven on this one. The shortest so far. Okay, yep. Yeah. Yep. Like that. Um, and Shelton, I guess, picks up the win. Yep. And goes within one of becoming the, of retaining his title. Uh, let's put the storyline on this, the Wave of the Warrior one. The Smackdown <laughs> storyline. Out comes Chavo Guerrero. Who's going to say, you know, I could complain about being put into the Cruiserweight Elimination Chamber on Saturday. I could. I could be angry at Teddy Long. I could say that there was no reason for, for me to have to defend my title inside a massive steel chamber and then have to deal with five of the best cruiserweights in the world. I could say it was unfair that that match was made without my consent. And I could complain that I had to enter the chamber at number one despite being the champion. But I'm not going to do that. Because I'm a warrior. I'm a fighter. So instead what I'm here to do is demand my rematch at the grandest stage of them all. WrestleMania. And then Rey Mysterio is going to come out and say, Chavo, you know I like you. You know you're my friend. But if anybody deserves a match at WrestleMania, it's me. Uh, Chavo's like, what makes you think that, Rey? And Rey's like, because I'm Rey Mysterio, dog. <laughs> like, I'm the greatest to, do, to ever do this in this division. And Go on. and because last uh, that and because on Saturday I eliminated you. Yeah, all right. I pinned you there inside you the elimination chamber on Saturday. There you go. But I tell you what, why don't we settle this the only way we know how? In the ring, you versus me, number one contenders match tonight. So I was like, yeah, sure, that sounds good. Awesome. Six. Yep. Um, yeah, I guess we can try and have this continue the storyline. So I guess add Ray to the storyline. Yeah. Actually, wait, no. Add Sabu. It'll make things easier. Easier to cheese. <laughs> um, Perfect. <laughs> all grown up featuring Batista. Then Batista's getting interviewed backstage when he says, I am not intimidated by The Undertaker. You know, The Undertaker has never lost at WrestleMania. This is true. But The Undertaker's also never been the world heavyweight champion. So something's going to happen for the first time next Sunday in Detroit. And why is it so hard for people to believe that that first time might just be The Undertaker losing at WrestleMania? Because let's not forget, The Undertaker has never faced someone as good as me at WrestleMania. And then Teddy Long will appear and say, Hala hala player, I'm glad you're not intimidated by The Undertaker. Because next, sun next Saturday, at Saturday night's main event, you're going to be teaming up with The Undertaker to take on John Cena and Mark Henry. Holla holla player. And he taps him on the shoulder and says, Good luck out there, champ. Called it six. I'm going to turn off the brands and throw those two in there on Overness because that's big. Big pop. Woo. Uh, Finley versus Mr. Kennedy, I think, is uh, Hell yeah. happening. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We went seven on the open, all right. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, that should work. Uh, I think we can go six on this. And then, yeah, Kennedy can just win. Clean. And then... Okay, so Nat Hart Vlogs. She's in Persia. Are we going to do most of the Money in the Bank qualifying stuff just like last week? or Yeah, next week. Or we may even just skip it and just have, have yeah. people get added to the match. Yeah, I'm aware of that. We announced it on the website. Yeah, we just have so little match time on these shows. But we, we could try and get it in next week. That was yeah, she's looking for some more again in Persia. Yeah, she finds a Persian werewolf um, oh. and, and slays it, yeah. Using Persian silver. Um, and she's now added a new Persian silver sword to her arsenal. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's going to struggle to get through airport security. All right. Six. Easily. Yeah, yeah, six on this. Acting. Script it. Um, you know, produce it. Yeah. I think Sergeant Slaughter's not the guy to be flying out to Persia and, and working on this. <laughs> He's a Michael, Michael Hayes, Hayes gimmick, yeah, bro. 100%. He's got vision. Yeah. He's making movies. <laughs> Michael Hayes on location. Yeah. Let's get some highlights of Lundrick versus the Hardys. Yep. <clears throat> Which I guess we'll just do... Uh... You want to be both of them? Uh, what's the storylines looking like on this brand aside from the two main ones? Oh, it doesn't even exist anymore. So cool, yeah, cool, you're cool. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah, both of them fine. Overness, I guess. Yep. Three. Yep. And then Teddy Long's gonna come out to the ring, and he's got something under his arm in a bag. What's in the bag? Hola, <laughs> hola, players. I hope you're having a great night here on Friday Night Smackdown. Later tonight, we're going to have a Cruiserweight number one contenders match between Rey Mysterio and Chavo Guerrero. <coughs> but first, I want to pay a little visit to my two favorite Cruiserweights, because they're in the tag team division, player. Holla holla. Let's get them out here. It's Paul London and Brian Kendrick. I can come out and he says, all right, players. First of all, congratulations for retaining your WWE Tag Team Championships Saturday night at Main Event. That was a very impressive victory, and you have proven that you are two of the greatest tag team wrestlers in SmackDown history. Now, there has been a question on lots of people's lips ever since you got both of those title belts at Armageddon. Whether or not there is a future for the WWE Cruiserweight Tag Team Championships... But as far as I'm concerned, you two have proven that there is no weight there is no weight barrier in SmackDown's tag team division. So I have a very special gift for the pair of you. We are from henceforth, we are retiring the WWE Cruiserweight Tag Team Championships, and I am going to present you two with the unified, undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships. And he unveils two. It's the exact same as the current WWE Tag Team titles. They're just new and clean. Shined up nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then Lundrick can pose with the belts, celebrate with them. Ah, oh, they're the new champs. The new era has dawned. Wait. Who are those two bald men jumping the barricade? Oh, no! oh my god! It's the Bashams! They're back! Uh, they lay out London and Kendrick quickly and then immediately turn their attention to Teddy Long. Oh who, god! <laughs> who they put through the SmackDown announcer's table with a shadow machine. Holy shit. With a shadow machine? That's just putting yourself through the table. <laughs> yeah, but Teddy comes too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, I think of Doomsday. What's the, what's the one where they do it with the neck breakers? Or the Doomsday device? Oh, with the with the neck breaker? Is this a bullet club? I think this might be a bullet club tag team thing where they do like a face buster into a neck breaker. I'll try and find it. I think it might be a, a Doc and Carl finish instead. Oh, you mean Magic Magic Killer? Mm, Is that what I think it's it called? might be the Magic Killer. Yeah. Cool. Yep. 
Yeah, because I don't know what the fuck tag finish they've been doing this whole time, honestly. So, <laughs> yep. whatever, whatever a fucking executive order is. <laughs> I think six, but they're going to get penalized. I mean, we do, let's do two angles. Let's do two angles. Sure. <coughs> so, sure. yeah, Basham's off out of this one. Get Lundrick Cause... raided on over us, I think, if they're going to be celebrating with the belts. This does work. You need to go vacant. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Yep. Although maybe you just don't do this and you deactivate them afterwards instead. Because it'll look... Mm, good shout. That way it'll have a vacant on it. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Good shout. Uh, Overness on them? Yeah, I think so. Go six. And then four minutes afterwards, Basham's... Oh, my God. <laughs> ...put Teddy Long through the table. Pretty great. The Lundrick on fighting... Basham's on fighting, Teddy on selling. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Just dies. Ah! This also leads to some good memes where Chavo next week can be like, well, can't say I'm glad, but, uh, <laughs> you know. Oh, God. What? Just. But. How do I say this without giving away the hand? We can talk about it after, just as long as you won't forget. And that, do you want me to mute you? I can mute you. Um, I don't know. I, I'll remember. I'll, I'll remember. mute you. I'll mute you. You're muted. Tell me. What, what are you? What are you thinking about? <laughs> uh, I think it's too soon. <laughs> oh, you mean later? That sounds based, actually. Yeah, that does sound based. Right. I'm un I'm unmuting you. Perfect. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Actually, I'm I'm so down for that. <laughs> I'm so down. Yeah. For that. Uh, all right. Cool. That's it. That's the angle. That's four. They're they're never gonna leave, dude. <laughs> no, of course not. They're they wrestling heritage. We need a brother tag team. It's them until the Usos arrive. That's just how it works. That, that's it. I love yeah. the fact. Alto, the Ash, nah, no, no, <laughs> they yeah. are in kayfabe. In kayfabe, they're brothers. Okay. Just like the APA. Just like the Nick <laughs> Allisters or whatever the fuck they're called. Highlanders. Bash a beat down hell, yeah. Um Okay. Should we check in with the boogeyman and Booker T? Wait, no. Yeah, uh, Booker was... Booker beat the... Bo yeah, it's he did. over. He did, it's over. The nightmare is over. The nightmare is over. Is he in the my... The nightmare life? has been lifted. He's like... <laughs> it's like, like Bloodborne. Um, I think he is, yeah. Yeah, he is. But I, we can't... We don't have time for another match tonight. No. Um, I think Booker can take the week off. He's had this big moment on Saturday. He could. Uh, my only other pitch would be... Yeah, you can talk to like Josh Matthews and Booker can say he has been told he's in the money in the bank because of okay his win or something. Sounds good. Yeah, the, the Boogeyman, the boogeyman match was a money in the bank qualifier match. Yeah, so. yeah, retroactive. Yeah, yeah. we'll get Todd or no, we'll do Josh because or no, we'll do um Crystal. Crystal. Four, I think, on this. Yeah, I like that. Uh, and then... Still need... Is... Go on. Sorry, I just wanted to check what his gimmick looked like now. Okay, yeah, it's just that. My bad. I forgot we did look at that. We've done Batista. I'm fine not hearing from The Undertaker. But let's do a quick two-minute Taker package. That's like... Oh my god, Fabu's a star. <laughs> Hell yeah. A uh, two-minute Taker package. It's just like... All of the people he's beat at WrestleMania. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then at the end, he's like, Batista, on next Sunday, your championship reign will rest in peace. This is just going to be a short package. I don't think it's a full oh. six minute or, yeah. Oh. Oh. Two or three, I'd say. Uh, You'll be cool. Go on. 
if you could do uh, figureheads for each brand. Mm. That would be cool. Just because I feel like it would be probably Taker, honestly, this whole yeah. time for SmackDown. Yeah, yeah. Although we would we, probably so talk about Dave, but... We wouldn't be getting the boost like most times of the year. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Um, which makes sense, actually. Then Taker would bring a, you know, a nice attendance yeah. bump when he arrives. Let's have our uh, championship interview with Sabu. <laughs> Josh Matthews. Sabu, how do you feel about becoming the new Cruiserweight World Champion? How did you deal with the, the dangers of the Elimination Chamber? Did being an extreme wrestler at all help within that scenario? Do you have a preference about who you want to face at WrestleMania? Thank you, Sabu. He walks off. Like two, I think? Three, maybe? Yep. I think we can book in the main now. Yeah, Ray Chavo. Yeah. It's going to go 30. How many guys have we done this one on one? What is this? This is one. Oh, shit. Just Only the, once. I think that was King of the Ring as well, so. 99. My yeah. God. It's going to go 30. Yep. Um, It's going to be a grueling back and forth battle. Um, And then they will hit the TV time limits. <laughs> Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> um, and uh, they they will run out of time tonight and be unable to come to a winner. Fantastic. Time limit, slow build, open. Yeah, looks good to me. Oh, I continued the way of the warrior. Yep, good shout. Who is the who is the de facto backup? Smackdown authority figure. I feel like Teddy just runs a full dictatorship here. He does, yeah. <laughs> he just it's him, dude. There's nobody like and they're like the fans are like, fight forever, and they're like, can we do that? I guess William Regal will cheapishly step into the ring. Oh, you want Regal there? Yeah. I think so. I think I mean he's, he's at the booth, right? He'll just be like, Yeah, lads, uh, I'm afraid, I'm, I'm sorry to inform you that we're out of time tonight. I, I don't <laughs> exactly know what, Go Teddy, home. what Teddy Long uh, would do in this situation. So I'm going to book in a 30 minute Iron Man match for next week. <laughs> Can you do that? I guess he, I guess he just did. There you go. Andre, like that. It works for me. <laughs> just like that? That looks good, yeah. A minute. Probably shouldn't be the Undertaker. <laughs> I mean, it could be. Cool. I got cool. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I love it. Let's do it. All right. Back down to Nitro. Right into five. Book it in for next it's week. Fucking, it's hot as fuck. <laughs> Hell yeah. The Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Rivalry of the Year, getting sealed up early. Oh yeah. This is six. Shelton is now within one. He's up three two. It's match point. Awesome. Yep. Like this segment does a better announcing. Cole just keeps fucking up. <laughs> Cole, please. All grown up. I'm not a big heat tag. Goes over massive. This is gonna be a, a kick ass. Oh yeah. Slide to Martin. witness. Batista, the Undertaker. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
Yep, yep. And Todd Baum. Kennedy wins. Kennedy! That heart kills werewolf. That heart vlogs continues to be a highlight of SmackDown. Lunder highlights. The belts are gone. New belts. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my Goodbye. friend. You have been the one. You, you have, have been, been the one for me. me. Oh, all right. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. I don't care. The Bashams are back. Face. Can we book it in? Should we book it in? WrestleMania? Yeah, just book it. Book it. WrestleMania. We're doing it. Uh, hardcore. <laughs> yep. And if I'm not wrong, I guess we'll wait to reveal that. We're not going to do that. I think I know what oh, you mean. Okay. Because we've already got a special so, guest ref, so, I, so we're gonna yeah. not gonna do that. Teddy can like interfere in the match or something. Cause, I know. like that. That yeah. works. Uh London and Kendrick. Poker T's and money in the bank. Hell yeah. Main? No, main after this. I 14 think. and 0. No, main Tabu after doesn't this. Tabu doesn't talk. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yep. They draw. But don't worry about it, folks, because next week. Iron Man. Renee, he wants in on this Iron Man match. And the winner will go on to face uh, Sabu at WrestleMania. Wrestle fucking mania. Uh, you know what? I, I have a sneaking suspicion. Yeah. It'll be 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. I, maybe they'll draw again, and uh, then it'll be a triple threat of mania. <laughs> oh, don't tell me that. That's too awesome. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, do you, do you want to, at least for a, a short period of time, do you want to rename the WWE Tag Titles to the WWE Unified Tag Team Championships? Yeah, cool. yeah, absolutely. We'll obviously phase that out at some point. Goodbye, my lover! <laughs> Go make YouTube content in the fields. <laughs> oh, Steve's back. Steve's back. Oh yeah, cool. I remember, we're going to use him. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's the yeah he's the guy you were referencing. True. Shannon Moore will be leaving tomorrow. Okay, bye, mm -hmm. Shannon. <laughs> bye, Shannon. Did he, make Shannon it, very... did he make it into the chamber in the end, or did we put someone else in there? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, no, he was in there. That's the NWA Florida Exhibition Champion. Can we uh, yeah, oh, yeah ch can check check his top hundred matches or whatever it is? I want to see if oh yeah that's, yeah that's his best one. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> yep, <laughs> cruiserweight chamber career highlight. That's on the DVD, to be fair. Hell yeah. Yeah. Shannon Moore, best moments. <laughs> no, no, just like, you know, best of 2006. The, fucking the Shannon Moore DVD. Based ass, to Like, I like that in our universe, that's replaced the um the Extreme Elimination Chamber. <laughs> it's definitely mm, an upgrade. Yeah. yeah. There it is, somewhere here, wherever it went. There it is. That's your entire history. Have a look at it actually. Funaki and Moore, of course, yeah. winning in the ladder match. Base babyface team to win it first. Big underdog stuff. Yep. Yeah. Then we get the um the FBI. Reality sets in. London and Kendrick with that first rain that gets um derailed, I think, because of Kendrick's drug abuse. The pit bulls come in. Base team. Skipper and yep. Rojo. I think Skipper and Rojo the true stars of the division really oh yeah yeah oh yeah um then another one said millennium that. never got these yeah i think i think literally we had a conversation about giving them to millennium after the unification right i was like oh we're having this millennium match yeah if ever london kendrick if we're gonna keep these titles going and they have to go on to millennium yeah. now <laughs> yeah decided not to Yeah. yeah, pretty good, in my opinion. And you want to rename these. I, 
I think Unified's the one I want to go for. Undisputed's a bit too much. I think Open yeah. Weight could be cool, but yeah, probably not. Um, yeah. I think it's Unified. Yeah, I like that. All right. Anything else we need to go over? Charlie Haas will be turning 35 this month. He's only two years younger than Lance Storm. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> we should have just pushed Lance. <laughs> Honestly, one of the one of the worst things that has happened was like right after we got done with Lance Storm, I became Lance Storm pilled. And now uh, I'm like, God, oh, this dude's like this dude's like a top ever worker, like my guy. Look at it this way, right? Getting rid of DMLS let Charlie spread his wings. In a oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. I absolutely love what we did with it. I just wish when we did have Lance, I was more um, aware, I guess, of how, of how good he is. He was, yeah. Yeah, because, like, I mean, in the data or IRL, I feel like he was really fucking good. Is Lance Storm the most underrated wrestler? The of most time? underrated. <laughs> There's a there's a lot of there's a discourse between underrated and undervalued or whatever he says. Oh yeah. my god. Like, it sounds like you talking I, about basketball. Uh no, excuse me, that's the difference between best and greatest. Yeah, yeah wait, no, there's a difference between underrated, undervalued, and underappreciated. Okay? So uh, he might not be underrated or undervalued, but I but I think he's underappreciated, actually. He's also under me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, also, I appreciate like he's he's not underrated but he is undervalued <laughs> it's like oh, oh wait i see what you know he's not good but he is great everybody really likes him but he does not get paid any money <laughs> <laughs> ah like my favorite artists right uh are we done are we done here yeah i think so Right. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Next episode here on the YouTube VODs will be the Go Home Shows to WrestleMania and probably SNME Heat. So yep. look forward to that. We'll see you guys. Actually, before we go, open up the Mania card so they know where it's at at the end of this, this week of shows. Because we're yep. almost done. We obviously know it's going to be Sabu versus... Um, one of Mysterio and Guerrero. You forgot to book in Raid RKO versus Hardys, because um, I did. Yep. Yeah, you were gonna do that, but then I, I jokingly, well, not jokingly, but I, I, you know, I stopped you before the main. <laughs> why, why did you enter those two manually and drag in Raid and RKO? <laughs> Uh, I'm a I'm a strange man. Okay. <laughs> I do unknowable things. Do you have diagnosed OCD or is it undiagnosed OCD? <laughs> <laughs> Be undiagnosed, good sir. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. <laughs> we'll see you for the week of WrestleMania 23.